Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today I'm going to show you three versions of the Sailor's Hornpipe, also known as the College Hornpipe. <laughs> Sailor's Hornpipe, also known as the College Hornpipe, it's a, one of the best known fiddle tunes. Uh, it originally was an English tune and it's very old. Um, it's also called in England Jack the Lad. It appeared in a comic ballet called The Whopping Landlady in 1767. And if you're not familiar with the word whopping, uh, it, it, it can mean uh, large, but in this case it's, uh, whopping is a, a, a dockside area of London and I think that's what's referred to in The Whopping Landlady. So this was in 1767. Uh, so it's not, um, it's possibly not a traditional tune. It might have been written for this ballet or it may have been just picked up and used for this ballet. Uh, it was danced by the American dancer Durang, who was very famous in the 18th century. And he uh, danced this for around 20 years towards the end of the 18th century. So it's well known as an American tune. Um, it appears in O'Neill's, so it's, it's known as an Irish tune as well. Uh, in America it's mostly known as the College Hornpipe and um, it is often used as a, a Texas contest tune. Um, partly I think because being called a hornpipe it allows it to be um, one of the um, A and other type tunes. I believe you're allowed to play a waltz and a breakdown and one other kind of tune of your choice and uh, hornpipe is a good choice. So I'm going to give you as the third version Mark O'Connor's version of the college hornpipe. Uh, this tune is also played at the last night of the proms um, every time and um, so it's, it's well known to everyone uh, quite apart from fiddle players. Uh, unusually for a hornpipe, it's played straight, so it's not played. It's not played like that, it's played uh, as, a, as a reel, I suppose, or um, in American terms, as a breakdown. So I'm going to give you three versions. Firstly, uh, in the key of G, secondly, in the key of A, as the original Sailor's Hornpipe, and thirdly, uh, Mark O'Connor's version of the College Hornpipe. So let's start off with the G version. I'll give it once fairly steadily. One, two, three. As regards bowing, I think you can probably do most of this separate bows. But I would do, uh, like in bar one, where there are five notes, I would probably slur the last two notes. Like that. And again. Um, that's, that's okay, separate. I would slur the last three. do this bit, put your first finger down on the A string and keep it down all the way through that bow. And on this bar keep your second finger on. Again da 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 da. This is the trickiest bit of um, cross string playing. I think I would try and do all these separate. If you 
slur them, gets quite a different feeling. Okay, let's do this again and with the backing. Okay, um, I think G is the most common key for this tune, but it works well in A as well. So I'm going to give you this version. Um, it's brighter in A. And uh, the only difference, I think, is um, in order to save you from changing position in the second bar, we can do this. So um, we're not going. Uh, it's, it's easy enough if you, if you go into third position, but, um, but no one's going to miss those notes. So we got that A. I think that could be an A sharp. It works as I would say as either A natural or A sharp. The key of A also has the advantage that you can do some nice ringing strings on the open A's and the open E's. You could play both keys, do it first in G and then move into A and perhaps accelerate on your key change, which would be quite nice. Uh, now I'm going to show you the Mark O'Connor version. So he does it in B flat and B flat gives you a quite a different feel. Makes it much more compact and controlled, and you can avoid any uh, open strings doing this. I'll go through this slowly, and then we'll look look at a few things about it. Starts off with a, a kickoff, and it, this is a I think this is a special contest kickoff where you give two beats, and that is an indication from the fiddler to the accompanist of exactly what the tempo is going to be. <laughs> see how it's the same tune basically but it's been made a lot more interesting and challenging. I first heard this on Mark O'Connor's album Sopping Up the Gravy and I'd never heard um, Mark O'Connor before this album and I'd never heard any Texas contest style before and I assumed that Mark O'Connor invented this style which in fact he didn't he just mastered it and uh, showed everyone how it was done um, but I, I absolutely love that album everything on it um, Right, let's go look at a few things. So we start off with... So we're doing this. And we're slurring straight into the first note of the first bar. Now this is quite tricky. So we, uh, that second finger is staying on. All the way down there. Watch out for the B natural. 
So this is... Right, this is a nice little pattern and we're doing it one separate and three slurred. stays on all the time as does the in fact it stays on on the A string and on the E string so that's like a fiddle capo or as I was told to say a fiddle capo if you're American here's a tricky bit so third finger fourth finger two and three one and two open one and uh, I would slur in pairs and I would do these really short. Little triplet there and I'm slurring that into the next note. Here we're not slurring, we're rocking backwards and forwards in separate bows. This I think I would slur again. Okay, let's do this now with the backing. First of all, slowly. And notice that even though the backing is really swinging, the melody is played absolutely straight. So there's no da 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 da. It's all da 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 da, which I always think is very strange that it sounds so swinging from the from the fiddle. But in fact, the fiddle is playing straight. I'll finish off by playing this up to speed. If you enjoyed this if you'd like a copy of the sheet music then do subscribe and send me an email and I'll send you a PDF if you would like to get a hold of a zip file with all 350 of my PDFs from all of these videos then do please consider subscribing to my patreon page which for the mere four pounds a month will get you all of those PDFs and a whole lot of other things besides look forward to seeing you again soon